we can find a foster home, we pull dogs when we can and um, get them onto a better life. Cool. Where yeah. are we going today? Do we do we have stops in mind where we're headed? Um, yeah, we have some places that we tend to go through every day um, that we're out here, and then we usually just kind of weave in and out of streets. Um, it's amazing. We can see, you know, usually we feed between 40 and 60 dogs every time that we're out here in about four hours. There we go. Look at you. Oh. Imagine her as a healthy dog. Oh. Yeah, she's gorgeous. It's okay, I know. Oh, this is the good stuff. There we go. There hey, dear go. mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to follow up quickly. Um, if he's feeding these dogs, they will stay. They'll stay put, okay. um, but we'll follow up quickly. We don't like to let situations like this lie, especially because you don't know what's going to happen in the interim. You know, one of them could be crossing the road and get hit by a car. And, and so when we find a good situation, we seize it and <laughs> jump on it as quickly as we can. Okay. puppies and her her nipples are huge and hot and yes and um like feel like a rock there's something wrong the puppies either died or she has mastitis <laughs> This, the dog led me to two dead puppies and it broke my heart. So you're taking this one with you? Yeah, we're going to take her to the vet. Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with her. But What's her name? What's her name, Tom? I don't know much about her. I know that as soon as I called her, she came running, which is very unusual for a street dog, mm -hmm. which tells me she's probably been very recently dumped. Um, her teats are so full to, to the effect that they're like rocks, and they're also hard, which indicates mastitis, which can kill a dog. Um, I don't know if she had puppies and they were taken away to be sold, or she's very skinny. This guy right here does not think she has an owner. Every time I played the puppy, she would go, y'all didn't see that, but every time I played the puppies crying, she would stop and she would go, oh, like she was sad about it. Right. So I don't know what happened to her, but she's only about a year. She's very, very young. Oh, sweetie pie, sugar plum. I know. Oh, I wish I had a rawhide or a bone for you. I've got a little tiny milk bone, but nothing to hurt you on. Oh, well, you'd be okay. We need to get you to the vet. So she needs to be on antibiotics because I had a dog that I picked up that almost died that had 
domesticized, and she even had puppies with her that were sucking. I don't think she's got puppies. I don't know if they died or drowned. She's young. It was probably her first heat. She probably... A lot of them have them in these pipes, and then the, it rains, right. and then they die. Yeah. So what so, happens after she goes to the vet? After she goes to the vet, hopefully we can find a foster. Um, we wait for all that to, you know, all her milk to dry up, put a little weight on her because you can't see her hip bones and her back bone, and then she'll get spayed and she'll be up for adoption, and hopefully, dear God, she's heartworm negative. <laughs> She's beautiful. She is. She's very pretty. I don't think we'll have a bit of problem finding her. If you like this video, subscribe now to watch more.